Hello and welcome to this learning video and here I am with a new variety of problem on Fourier transform. So without wasting time let us take a problem on Fourier transform. So this problem says find the Fourier sine transform of this function. Okay so how one can start with this? Now given given f of x is equal to e to the power minus x upon x a greater than 0. Okay? Now, what we have to find out? We have to find out Fourier sine transform. So, we know that we know that the Fourier we know that the Fourier sine transform, the Fourier sine transform of f of x is what is it? Is Fourier sine transform of f of x, which we denoted by what was that? F s bar of s is equal to is equal to under root 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity f of x into sine sx dx okay this is the definition of sine transform of x now we have f of x here so you can just substitute that value to be as 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity what is f of x e to the power minus ax upon x into sine sx dx now to solve uh, integration of the type like this is very difficult so we'll make use of the Leibniz rule and uh, then we will find it uh, the Fourier sine transform of it okay so to apply that, let me write on differentiating on differentiating both sides on differentiating both sides with respect to S with respect to respect to s we get so what we get on differentiating this in the left hand side I will be getting f s bar dash of s is equal to under root 2 by pi d d s of integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus ax upon x into sine sx dx okay now this is under root 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity now I am applying the Leibniz rule Leibniz rule allows you to take this uh, differentiation under the integral sign and its role will get changed del del s of e to the power minus ax upon x into sine sx dx okay here you can write by Leibniz rule by Leibniz rule of differentiation under integration sign of differentiation under the under the integral sign simple now here you can see this is under root 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity this is differentiation with respect to s and this is a function of x so this is treated as constant so e to the power minus ax upon x now there is a term of s here 
So what is the integration of sin x with respect to s? So it should be cos sx into derivative of sx with respect to s is x dx. Simple. Now this x get cancelled with this x. Okay. And we can now continue with the integration. So f s bar dash of s is equal to under root 2 by pi. Okay. What is integration of e to the power minus x into cos sx? We have already seen this integration uh, in the previous uh, examples. So what is it? It should be 1 upon a square plus s square. Okay into e to the power minus ax in bracket it is minus a cos sx minus what is derivative of cos is minus sine so this is plus sine sx into s 0 to infinity okay yeah now uh, you can just apply upper limit minus lower limit to get the solution of this. Now, it is uh, under root 2 by pi. This is 1 upon s square plus a square. Now, apply the upper limit minus lower limit. When you apply the upper limit, this is e to the power minus infinity. So, e to the power minus infinity is 0. 0 into anything, 0. So, the upper limit will contribute to 0 only. Lower limit, e to the power 0. So, this is e to the power 0 minus a cos 0 plus s into sin 0 okay so this is nothing but under root 2 by pi 1 upon s square plus a square this is 0 minus e to the power 0 is 1 this is minus a and this minus plus a so this is nothing but under root 2 by pi into a upon a square plus a square. Is it? Okay. So we got this to be f s bar dash of s. But we are not interested in its derivative of Fourier sine transform. We want Fourier sine transform. So to remove the derivative, we have to integrate integrating with respect to s of course on integrating on integrating we get so the moment we integrate what we will be getting after integration so this derivative integration get cancel and we remain with fs bar of s this derivative and integration get cancel this is under root uh, 2 by pi okay into a integration of 1 upon a square plus a square what is it 1 upon a square plus a square d s plus some constant of integration okay now this is a very well known formula of integration so this is 2 by pi into a this is integration of 1 upon x square plus a square so it's integration of tan inverse of s by a plus c is it is it uh, 1 by a tan inverse of s by so 1 by a okay so now uh, this get cancelled with this and we have f s power of s is equal to under root uh, 2 by pi into tan inverse of s by a plus c okay but uh, in the as you know that the Fourier sine transform is integration 0 to infinity so there should not be any term of constant so we need to find out now constant say this is to be equation b and <coughs> If you remember, so this is to be equation B and we have to find out C. But we have, but we have, what we have? Yes, we have 
Fourier sine transform of S is equal to under root 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus ax upon x into sine sx dx. This is say this is to be my equation a. This is the definition. Okay. Now from this definition we are going to uh, derive a condition which would be helpful in giving us a, a value of c. Okay. So So, uh, it is clear that, it is clear from equation A that at S is equal to 0, Fs of S is also 0. Because the moment you put S is equal to 0, sin 0 is 0 integration of 0 is 0 into anything 0 fs of s is 0 so we'll make use of this uh, equation uh, this condition therefore equation b will imply so fs of s 0 putting s is equal to 0 in equation b so 0 is equal to under root 2 by pi into tan inverse of s what is s 0 tan inverse of 0 plus c what is tan inverse of 0 0 so this is 0 is equal to 0 plus c that is c is equal to 0 okay put c is equal to 0 in this equation to get the required Fourier sine transform of the given function equation b becomes equation b becomes Fourier sine transform of the given function is under root 2 by pi into tan inverse of s by a and this is my required Fourier sine transform for the given function so I hope this video lecture is clear to you. So thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.